Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with a rant and review of X. I should first mention there will be no major spoilers in this video. I was able to watch X today, the new Ty West film released just yesterday. In the last 24 to 48 hours, it's been getting a lot of hype. Many people are praising it as the best horror film of 2022 so far. I've even seen others say it's the best horror movie they've seen in decades. Now, I liked it. I really did. It's a really good film. But what is going on, horror community? Horror fans constantly and collectively crap all over everything. And then suddenly, with the release of this film, I was thinking, wow, they found something they actually like. I need to see this. So I watched, and kept watching, waiting for that wow factor. And although it came close on a few occasions, it just never really hit. But before I get into that more, let me just give a brief synopsis in case you don't even know what X is about. X follows a group of young filmmakers who are in rural Texas making an adult film. Mia Goth plays Maxine, who hopes to be a famous porn star. Her boyfriend Wayne will be the film's director. Then there is Bobby Lynn, played by Brittany Snow, and her boyfriend Jackson. Both of them will also be in the film. Jenna Ortega from Scream 2022 plays Lorraine. She and her boyfriend RJ will be working behind the scenes on the porno. Wayne rents a house from an elderly couple in the middle of nowhere in rural Texas. But the couple has no idea they'll be filming a porno there. It doesn't really matter though because soon enough they will all be stalked and killed in gruesome ways. I've heard some people refer to X as Boogie Nights meets the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I'd say that's accurate. As a matter of fact, this almost feels like a loose adaptation of a TCM sequel. The movie is set in 1979, so it definitely has that grindhouse vibe. The look of the film sort of reminded me of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. It's a modern-day horror film made to look like a 70s horror film. It's a little less polished, though, than the TCM remake, which I liked. Ty West is a great writer and director, and the film was beautifully shot. The performances were all, I'd say, better than decent. Good overall. There's a certain character who reminds me of a certain character from Pumpkinhead. We get some good, not-so-gratuitous nudity, including from Britney Snow, which was a bit surprising. But considering they're shooting an adult film, it would have been strange if there was no nudity. This brings me to one of my, I won't say con, but annoyances. There's a certain sex scene filmed for the porno, in which the actress keeps on her bra and underwear. Now, I really don't mean this to sound perverted here, but what type of porno is that? If you're going to film a sex scene like this, go all in, or don't shoot it at all. There's, of course, such thing as gratuitous nudity, but this is an example of gratuitous clothing. It's almost distracting. You might as well step into a shower with clothes on if you're going to shoot a sex scene with clothes on. Especially when you're shooting a porno. For me, the high point of X are its kill scenes. They're brutal, but I won't spoil them. For those of you who have seen it, the Don't Fear the Reaper scene is probably my favorite in the entire movie. The little twist at the end was cool as well. Like I said, I really did like it. But does it deserve all the praise it's getting from the same horror fans who crap all over everything else? I don't know. It seems like so many horror fans have become so nitpicky, and they only like something when everyone else tells them they should. 
as soon as enough people start crapping on it though, forget it. They won't even give it a chance. Regardless of what someone says, including myself, I always recommend giving it a chance. Keep in mind, I'm saying all this not dissing X in any way. I really liked it. I'll keep saying that too. It was really, really good. But here's the thing. I like a lot of horror films. Many that other horror fans crap on. You know why? Because just as they did in the 80s, 90s, and so on, they entertain me. And that's all I can ask of them. Somewhere along the line, it seems that a lot of horror fans closed their minds. But I still believe in supporting and promoting horror above all else. I see nothing good that can come out of crapping all over it. You can be honest and still enjoy something. It's okay. Really. That's what I'm trying to do with this review. As much as I liked X, I don't think it deserves all of the praise it's getting. But hey, maybe I'll change my mind after subsequent viewings. That's always possible. There's plenty to enjoy in it, and you should watch it to see for yourself. Ultimately, I really did enjoy this film. It just didn't blow me away. Out of the major horror films I've seen this year so far, it would probably be my third or fourth favorite. There is definitely some originality in it, and I appreciated that. But here's where my rant comes in. If everybody wants original horror films, and they enjoy this one so much, then why don't they enjoy other original horror films? You know, like, old. I actually watched this today for the first time after watching X, and I liked this one more. Old was, of course, a 2021 horror film, though. It wasn't released this year. Horror fans constantly complain about sequels and remakes and requels being made, saying they want to see original horror films. Then, M. Night Shyamalan releases a new film, and they crap all over it, some without even seeing it. What is it that you guys want? This right here, old. This is an original horror film. What's like it? Tell me that. At least with X, you can compare it to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like I said, it's like Boogie Nights meets TCM. With old, it's really difficult to come up with any comparisons. Again, it's really any movie M. Night releases, though. People think if they've seen one of his films, they've seen all of them, which is completely incorrect. I truly feel like every one of his films is so different. He's done a movie about ghosts, one about aliens, one about an airborne toxin in The Happening, a movie about a superhero and follow-up movies about villains, and this one, among others. They're all so different. I guess I'm just tired of everyone complaining. It seems like horror fans are never satisfied. Maybe I've just seen too many horror movies at this point. I don't know. I'm glad everyone is praising X. I want to see horror do well. I just couldn't help feeling like I did when I watched Get Out for the first time. Like I was watching an overrated horror movie. When Get Out was first released, everyone talked about how it was the greatest horror movie of the decade. And then I watched it and thought, really? Just like X, I thought it was a really good film. But to say it's one of the best was definitely excessive. I guess what I'm hoping is a lot of horror fans will stop being so hypocritical. Just have fun, watch horror, and enjoy it. And with all that being said, I do highly recommend checking out X. I think a lot of people will like it. I really did myself. I just wouldn't call it the best horror film of the year. What do you think? Have you seen X? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.